Hey, what's happening? Tim Warner here. And I had a really cool level up moment with Generative Eye yesterday, and I wanted to share it with you. So here goes. I was at Google News, and I came across what was clearly a clickbait head headline. Look here. Far out, the one Grateful Dead song Bob Weir always hated. I don't know about you, but as a consumer, clickbait really gets on my nerves. And frankly, for me, it goes beyond being a consumer. I'm a professional author. And I'm not a journalist as such, but I'm definitely an author in the vein of Ernest Hemingway in terms of I want every word to count. And if I have something to tell you, I want to spit it out on the front end. Look at this. So, of course, I'm a Grateful Dead fan so of, and a Bob Weir fan. So, of course, I'm thinking, what is the song that he always hated? And if you go out to that particular website, it's one of those deals where they force you to go to the site, and then you have to scan through the article, which means that you need to expose any pop-ins and all this. Now, this is my teaching browser, so I've intentionally disabled uBlock Origins, so I'm getting all of this advertisement garbage. And finally, this is, this really, uh, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna name and shame them. This is far out, now the DNS name says learn.microsoft.com, which is hilarious. Let me um, refresh. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me try this again. Uh, there we go. Faroutmagazine.co.uk. So it's a British paper. You ought to be ashamed of yourself because finally we get down. See, I missed it. Let's see. This is it right here. And so I, I would actually wonder if the author did this intentionally. So they didn't word it. Bob Weir hated this song because they probably wanted to defeat a control F looking for hate or hated. Do you see what I mean? Wow. So what did I do? What I thought at this point, normally what I'm going to do, if it's going to be a carousel or one of those things, if I see that or if it's a paywall and I don't have a subscription or don't want to have a subscription, I'll normally just dump the article and keep on going. It's not worth it. But in this case, I had a, a brainstorm and it was a great example of when Gen, a Gen AI starts to become muscle memory like Google does. So I was here, and I didn't even start to scroll down the page. Now, Bob Weir has always looked frighteningly zonked in this particular picture. But at any rate, I'm going to come up here. I'm in Edge, clearly. I'm going to open my Copilot. See? Now, this doesn't matter whether you're using Copilot Free, Copilot Pro, Copilot for Microsoft 365 in this case. Page summarization is a top use case in Copilot in Windows 11 and Copilot in Edge in particular. So I'm going to say... Please tell me Weir's hated song and why briefly by examining this web page. Now, do I need to add all that extra cruft about examining this web page? <clears throat> Probably not, but part of my generative AI muscle memory now is I try to put as much uh, context as I can. Anyway, sure, here's a brief summary. Here it is. Weather report suite, because he found it too sentimental, specific issue, reference. I can have it read aloud. I can export to Word, PDF, or text. I can copy, and I'm going to actually vote up. I would encourage you, when you see a particularly good or a particularly weak response from any Gen AI, you're doing the whole community a big service by providing feedback. I'm not saying for the 80% work, but if there's an exceptionally good response, exceptionally bad response. So here I'm going to say uh, co-pilot gave me a zero shot result. I did prompt to look at the page though. Uh, these are captured and I know the engineers who are behind the service are reading these. I'm not sure specifically how they're getting bubbled up to them, of course. It's not our business. But I can be, and I can give you some, some of that assurance because of my professional network and in my experience with Microsoft and with GitHub and, and so forth. So there you have it. I mean, you might be thinking, Tim, I've been doing this for three months. There's no question I'm late to the party on a whole lot of stuff. But I thought that was great. And I, I want to offer this example to you in terms of a good benchmark on how well you're starting to adapt to generative AI. You know, instead of, uh, I don't know how else you would work it. A, a common trick to try to avoid paywalls anyway is to open in an in-private window or an incognito window, but this is a summarization issue. And, you know, the same thing, you might want to consider 
If you look at a page in another language, I normally use the Google Translate extension. You might want to try using Copilot or whatever your Gen AI of choice is to try its own translation. And I, I don't know, I haven't experimented with that. I haven't needed to recently. Uh, okay, that's it. I think we'll keep this video lean, mean, and tightly scoped. Thank you. I'll see you next time.